Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. We are here again to talk about another bang for the buck mechanical keyboard. Pero this time medyo kakaiba po siya compared to the usual mechanical keyboard with the traditional switches. Optical switch na po yung ginamit dito. And to make this video short and uh, yes, hindi ulit tayo abot ng 18 minutes compared sa ating previous video about mechanical keyboard. Let me just keep things short and simple. And I isolate po natin yan just about this mechanical keyboard AK84S about optical switches and that silicon keycaps included with this package and at the end of the video let's announce the giveaway winner sa ating previous raffle for more videos like this feel free to subscribe this video is brought to you by SCDKey the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares games and yes operating system and there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. The package comes with this Skylung AK84 pero distributed po siya ng Epo Maker and meron po siyang kasamang uh, key puller at saka switch puller. So yung key puller is yung plastic, switch puller po yung metal and this both items are not recommended dahil ang ginagamit po natin is eto po. Para hindi po masugatan yung keycaps, eto po yung ginagamit natin spring. And then uh, moving at the keyboard itself, makikita nyo po yung kanyang uh, plain uh, black stock keycaps na meron pong uh, Shine Through Legends and uh, hindi po ako fan ng kanyang uh, uh, Legends hindi siya pleasing para sa akin na tingnan pero it's okay, it's fine acceptable naman po siya and yung kanyang top case is aluminum uh, coating and yung kanyang bottom case naman po is plastic integrated po yung kanyang plate and uh, actually hindi po ako fan ng integrated plate ulit dahil hindi talaga maganda yung tunog especially pagdating sa space bar nakakairita you will know that later pagdating sa space bar ng mga integrated plate nako po you need to have a dampening material sa yung space bar mas nagugustuhan ko yung uh, tray mount na commonly found sa mga budget mechanical keyboards dahil meron ka ding uh, easier chance for upgrade path in the future like if you want to replace the uh, plate with the uh, palm plate polycarbonate plate yun Pero pagdating kasi sa mga integrated plate, nearly impossible. Meron po siyang 4000 mAh battery which is uh, quite big compared to those other uh, bang for the buck mechanical keyboards that comes only with 2000 mAh. So that 4000 mAh I believe uh, can go as far as uh, maybe 2 weeks, lalo na kung naka-RGB off. And that is something that you really want to consider if uh, you are on the go. Uh, looking at the mechanical keyboard, you observe it that uh, it's quite very uh, compact, compressed. It's actually a 75% layout with 84. So mapapansin niyo yung mga underscroll keys is nakasiksik po sa dito together with the arrow keys. And then going deeper, we have now the switches. This is the reason why I really take this mechanical keyboard. If uh, what makes these optical uh, switches uh, really good? why it's the new thing right now. We see Corsair, Razer introducing optical switches. So let's just uh, simplify the difference. Etong mga optical switches is just like other traditional switches. Mechanical switches pa rin po siya. Pero yung traditional kasi na switches natin is nagre-register po yung ating input through metal contacts. Pag once na nagkaroon ng contact yung dalawang metal, magre-register ngayon yung in-input natin. Pero, with optical switches, lights po. So, how does it work? Ang mangyayari po dyan sa ating PCB mismo, instead na merong dalawang 2 pins of metal connected sa ating PCB, wala na pong ganun. So, that is one of the major difference between optical and traditional mechanical switches pagdating sa exterior looks. And the mechanism of optical switches is meron pong naka-integrate na laser beam sa ating PCB that is pointed towards the other side na meron din pong sensor. So unlike the traditional setup, na every time na magre-register ng key press is magkakaroon ng contact ng metal. Pagdating naman po sa optical switches, meron pong laser beam that is delivered sa mismong sensor. 
Pero once na nag-register po tayo ng key, automatically makakat po siya dahil magkakaroon po ng barrier na plastic. So that is the purpose kung bakit meron pa rin pin sa gitna ng isang optical switch. And once na cut po yung light, doon na po magre-register yung key press natin. So that's quite opposite compared sa traditional key switches. So basically, ang uh, functional component na lang po ng isang uh, optical switch is yung kanyang stem, yung kanyang spring, and housing. Opposite sa mga traditional switches na napakalaki ng involvement ng mga metal uh, leaves sa loob ng switch. Pero as of now, hindi ko pa siya masyadong uh, uh, may re-recommenda pagdating sa optical switches compared sa traditional dahil nga po napaka-limited pa yung options natin. Especially if you want to customize our mechanical keyboard. Pero another thing that I appreciate from the Skylung AK84 is this Roland Garros keycaps. Actually, Roland Garros is uh, commonly heard pagdating sa tennis. Well, anyway, going to the silicon keycaps, actually, na-appreciate ko naman po siya out of the box. The Legends is... Uh, Quite decent. Uh, yeah, it's really decent compared sa ating uh, stock keycaps included. Uh, for those guys who are into RGB, this is not the keycaps that you may consider. You may just consider this if you want to have a better feel or a deeper uh, sound uh, profile from your keyboard. Especially that this is made of a plastic uh, bottom. So, ayun, to get more details about the sound profile of this mechanical keyboard, let's check this sound test. So that's it mga kaibigan, you have there all the details about the AK-84. It's up to you guys if you will consider it. Quite subjective. In the end of the day, it's all about preference. I will still stick sa mga traditional mechanical switches after using this. Especially that this is a mechanical keyboard na hot swap. I want to take advantage at hot swap capability of this mechanical keyboard. So I will stick with those traditional ones. Maybe 3 to 5 years from now, that is the time that I may consider optical switches especially that in the long term there is a better advantage uh, just by looking at the technology we don't have still uh, figurative numbers to prove our point pero talking about latency talking about response time we all know that any metal mechanism meron wear and tear and that may affect the response time or latency in the future and that is uh, nearly impossible by just looking at how the key is uh, registered pagdating sa optical switches. That is very, very impossible. And ayun nga po, for the giveaway mga kaibigan, the winner of the last raffle draw. And this is actually about that Luffy thin mechanical keyboard. Mga kaibigan, in the count of three, two, one congratulations sir for winning the first mechanical keyboard giveaway dito sa ating channel it is actually the first the previous one which is also the first uh, giveaway that we did is just mouse now this is the first and yes it's even themed one piece so hopefully you are a fan of one piece also to better appreciate this mechanical keyboard Ayun mga kaibigan, for more giveaways like this, keep posted, feel free to subscribe, and thank you so much.